What's going on? Tectonic Edge here, and happy 4th of July. And, you know, I figure do something special for 4th of July, so you may notice I'm not in a game yet. I'm actually going to do three games. That's right, not just my usual one upload. And they're going to be three different decks. We're going to see this go. What am I doing? You probably see the name up in the top corner. I've got a mono red Tron list, a mono white Tron list, and a mono blue Tron list. We're going to do one game of each here. So let's go ahead and join one of these. Number of players. We're in the mono practice tournament. Yep. All right. Let's get started. <laughs> these should be fun. I tried to make them... Uh, uh, there's enough variance in them, so it's not just, you know, slide in a few other cards. Uh, blue one, Mono Blue Tron's the one that's slightly playable. The others are they're just for fun, but we're going to have fun with it. All right. Our opponent is not going to know what's up. Let's see. We're going to declare the Jagantha because we are still a red deck. So we get Jagantha. We have Power Plant, Power Plant, Expedition Map, Painter Servant. Yeah, hmm. It's somewhat tempting, but I think I'm going to mulligan. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep Tron. That's a pretty good hand. That's turn three Ugin. Uh, doesn't do much of the red stuff, but we do get the stuffy doll. Oh, do we pitch the stuffy doll here? No, I think we're going to pitch the mountain. Because uh, we have turn uh, three stuffy doll. And what are we playing against? Mountain? Cycling. Death Shadow. Awesome. Oh. Oh no. We well, that's one way to lose Tron. <laughs> that's fun. Uh, we'll run out the power plant cuz it's safer on the ground. Uh, probably not Death Shadow then. I, I spoke a little bit too soon. I forgot him in the test games. Uh, that's a lot of cards in the graveyard. Is he going to be a hollow one? Well, he could still be some kind of Death Shadow, but he's definitely a graveyard deck. Oh, yep, he's hollow one. Oh, but he discounted or discarded his hollow one. That's always fun. All right. Well, we'll run out the painter servant. And everything is red. And he now has no idea what we're up to. All right, there's a Cathartic Green. Eldrazi Conscription. Wow, he's got some powerful cards in this. And we are a long way away from Tron. Ooh, he's going to Lightning Axe that. Interesting. Well, no reason not to play the Mountain. And we'll go ahead and grab the Jagantha because there's... Again, no reason not to. We could just draw into Tron at any point here. Is this mono red hollowed one? It looks like it. Well, hey, we got a red deck versus a red deck. That's always awesome. It'd be funny if all of these color line up. Like if the next deck's a white deck and the third one's a blue deck. Fingers crossed. Alright, well there's a tower and we do hold... We'll, we'll hold up the lightning bolt. Alright, there's some cycling. Oop, that there is what we want.
I could have tapped that better. Well, we'll grab the mine. We'll at least have Tron. Um, but I, yeah, I should have held up red. But we have a good turn next turn. Storm Herald, interesting. How many aura cards does he have in the graveyard? Oh. I really should have held up red. That's pretty good. Well, he's going to get a tower and a mountain. And hopefully we draw land. We do. Nice. That was pretty good, though. Uh, I didn't see that coming. I should have, and I should have held up the red source. That's minus three to clear this board state. Yep. We are still in the danger zone here. That is a red deck with haste. All right, he drew a land. That's probably helpful. We'll go ahead and take the card out of his hand. I don't know what he's holding up, but it could just be a land here. It is a land. All right. Does he draw something that kills us? Ooh, we live, but hmm. We're going to be at 1. That's that's definitely scary. Or he's going to swing at Karn. All right. Blasphemous Act is only good if we have the stuffy doll out. So what do we want to do here? Well, we're definitely exiling the creature. ourselves a red store so we can hold up a little bit of defense and then yep that'll give us the lightning bolt we got to dodge two more draw effects uh, and then we can ult the Ugin Well, if that's the case, we're just going to Lightning Bolt him. See what we get. Let's see what he got in his graveyard. Alright, nothing with flashback. Decent. We plus here. We 
may as well start eating his lands. We'll go ahead and throw out a creature so we have a little bit of defense. He's going to get one draw step to draw pretty much a, a lightning bolt. Going to eat another land. All right, let's see what he gets. And he gets... He can get the flying uh, bird too, and so no, we're still at three. So he would have had to have attacked us. He needs a lightning bolt. He got a land. All right. Cool. Game two. So how does this sideboard against this matchup? We want graveyard hate. We do have the concrete creator sweet in, so that does limit it. We got our Chandra awakened uh, infernos here for blue. Uh, do we want the warping whales? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Um, I don't have any extra graveyard hate in this, so I want to keep the Graph Digger's Cage in for the Karn. I think I want the Warping Whales, and we'll just go down a Painter's Servant and a Simeon Spirit Guide. Oop, was that a message? Let me check that real quick. It was not. I don't know why that screen flashed. All right. We are on the draw. Let's see second hand. Oop. Well, declare Jagan the first. Knowing what his deck does, I'm going to say this is keepable. I, I like having backup threats. And Tron is nice too. We're getting very lucky on the Tron or the Tron draws, just because <laughs> we don't really have the green search engines in here. I mean, obvious, I know, but this isn't. This is a good level of getting Tron for a deck that doesn't run the Tron suite or the full engine. It just has the expedition maps. Hollow one. Alpine Moon. What name does he land? What land does he name? <laughs> I'm having fun with this. Alright, there's the Burning Inquiry. And he gets my tower. Well, we'll play the mine. And we will stone rain that. Turn two stone rain's always fun. Well, I feel so anti-Tron right now. It does suck he got the Blast Zone, because that was going to be the answer to the Alpine Moon. He is a red deck, so hopefully he's not running too much land. Yep, he's going to swing one. Could go for Congrate Creator here, but I think I just want to set up for the Stuffy Doll next turn. Oop. 
Oop, he got a land, but a tap land. All right, Stuffy Doll. Makes attacking far less interesting. Yep. Stuffy Doll is a good defensive card against a deck that attacks with creatures and doesn't have flying. If he had flying out, he'd be in a little more trouble. You know what? We're going to plus here so he's less likely to kill the Karn. Um, and that way we can play something big next turn. This is an interesting game. You know, the funny thing is, he has Menace. I don't really know why he's not attacking. We'll go grab the land that is everything. Or six mana if that card goes away. What do we want here? What starts shutting him down? Oh, I'm tempted. He's just going to scoop. All right. Well, there's game one. Let's go to game two. And that means we're switching from the mono red. I almost called it anti-tron just because it's playing those stone rains. Ooh, it's, it, it's such a weird thing to have in a Tron build. But we go to Mono White Tron. Red, white, then blue. Submit and join. Let's see if a new... Oh, we're creating a game. Let's see what we're playing this time. It'd be funny if the same guy comes back. And I hope everyone's having a great 4th of July out there. Uh, whether you're in the Un United States or not. Of course, if you're not in the United States, it's just a regular day. But hopefully it's a great regular day. You know, I've never looked this up, but I'm sure there's probably some other holidays. or uh, Like, there's only so many days in a year. There's probably other uh, events of significance that have happened on the 4th of July. I've just never bothered to look it up. Um, so that might be interesting. One the die roll. Nice. Let's see an opening hand here. That is one planes, a wrath of God. Uh, we're going to mulligan this. This is not what we're looking to do. It's a good bit of land, uh, but not really what we're looking to do either. There's a lot of land in this deck. We should not be getting these one landers, and this is not good for us. We'll mulligan one more time. Uh, we'll keep this. Put three cards on the bottom. Well, one, two, uh, path or expedition map. We're going to do one of the expedition maps. We're just going to present like regular Tron at first. This is not a good start, though. Um, these uh, The mono-colored Tron decks don't mulligan as well. Oh, red, black. All right. Vexing Devils. Interesting. This is going to be a burn deck, then. Yeah, we'll take four. Well, that's a lucky draw. 
Now if we can just draw a threat, we'd be fine. At the very least, gonna get Tron. Alright, what's he got? Ransack the lab. Let's go grab our power plant. We don't draw anything to, with it. We're just going to play the planes and hold up the path to exile. Yep. Planes. Talisman of Unity. Alright. Polluted Delta. Back it. What's he got? I just got a message. He just asked, is this the real tectonic edge? Yep. <laughs> That's funny. I think this is the first time anyone's uh, messaged me that. Wow. We got the path to exile, so that helps us a bit. Ooh, well, uh, power plant, we don't have anything else to do, so that is unfortunate. Go ahead and pass turn, see what Matt Fuller's up to. Uh, just go ahead and press six, we don't really have any interaction here. Oh, he's got a second lightning skeletal. That'll do some damage. All right, he's coming in for six. He's gonna get us. And there goes our power plant. Unearth Vexing Devils. Interesting. That is a choice. Um, he's got us whether he's got the Lightning Skeletal or not. creatures so we'll play Thalia's Lancers here that might save us gonna use that ability what do we want here we have four mana can get pretty much anything. Only nine mana next turn. I think we're gonna go for a Karn Great Creator and just create another blocker. Well, no, it's tapped, so. Forget, eh, forgot about that. We'll just go ahead and plus.
And he likely, there's a good chance he's got us here. Five cards in hand, four mana. I think we'll survive the Lightning Skelemental. There's a Ransack the Lab. Didn't grab a lightning bolt. Interesting. Oh, yep. Crooks is pretty good. And there, here's the lightning bolt, right? Nope, not a lightning bolt. He's going to hold up Lightning Bolt. I think he's got it. What are our options here? Uh, we died to a Kroxa, more than likely. So clearing the graveyard probably isn't the worst option. Although, Worm Coil Engine, I'd say, is second best. I, th I think he's holding up the Lightning Bolt. Ooh, I'm just reading his comments. Nice guy. I think he's got me. Yep, lightning skeletal. Oop, and a dark confidant. He had me from multiple angles there. That's a pretty good play. Because had I gone through the other one, he would have just croak, it, croak so he'd kill me. Yep. We'll block and then die to damage. Yep. And then I think this will go to game two, right? Um, now, did I switch over to uh, this is still Modern League? Oh, my creature has first strike. Does, does first strike prevent haste? How am I alive? I, I, hmm. You know what? I'm not going to question it. I, I wasn't expecting that. I'm definitely not used to playing this deck, but it's a fun one. Um, it's a little bit of a mistap on my part. I should have held up path. I still technically have the path, but not as decent a path. Gotta keep clicking. I'm trying to, Matt. Matt, if you're watching this, uh, in, you know I'm uploading Fourth uh, of July. <laughs> I'm trying to respond to you. I just I keep you know wanting to click through this. Uh, Matt messaged. Uh, I'll just I'll move the chat over here real quick. Yep. Look at the top three cards. Yep. Ransack the lab. Let's see what it gets. He just needs to find a lightning bolt. He got it. Not very nice.
All right, this should be game two. Uh, two. What do we have on the sideboard? We have rest in peace and ley line. Ooh. Yeah, we've got some good sideboard cards for this one. I have relics in the main. Did I see one of those? I might have. Yeah, we'll go down one of the Lancers. They're pretty good, but eh, this deck runs a lot of double white. I'm kind of, so... I found... I couldn't find many modern... Uh, or not modern. Probably Portraits Award there, but... Any um, monocolored Tron decks from 2020. So I went back to old list and kind of updated them a bit. I think I'll put a link to where my original deck was based off of in the description of the deck list I post. Uh, all three of these deck lists should be below. Take the play and let's see what we get. Power plant, mine, no color source. This says 24 lands in it. That's We should be getting a little better on the land draw with this. That's a little more tempting. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep pitch. It's two lands. We get to start off with a ley line. We just have to find a color source. Oh, and I just... That. Okay, well, that's my bad. I just clicked through without meaning to. Yeah, we'll take four there. Um, not our best move. Relic is nice, though. Go ahead and get rid of that Vexing Devil. Sack the lab. Good bit of land in there. All right, second ley line of sanctity is never as good as the first. We'll go ahead and just get rid of another card. Hopefully we draw another land. If, if we don't, then it's uh, a decent thing. Yeah, man, we just we missed the land drop earlier as opposed to later. I think he's gonna have trouble beating the relic though. Although I'm gonna be pretty soon, I'm gonna be forced in the position where do I crack it or not crack it? Well, that's going to be a good reason to crack it. He can have a ley line of sanctity. Yeah, we're going to not let that one happen. Ooh, we got a planes. Very nice. That'll buy us time, which is a lot of what these monocolored Tron decks want to do. They want to buy time in different ways in order to get up to the big stuff. I'd say we're in a pretty good spot. We're holding up two Path to Exiles. Well, 
you may as well play it out. Probably should have tapped the talisman for colorless instead of one of the planes. I think it's just a matter of who draws some interaction first. Would not mind seeing a rest in peace. Interesting game though. Builds tension as these go along. Ah, that's gonna get both our paths. Well, before it goes to the graveyard, we're gonna path it. And there goes our other path. Ooh, Dark Confidant, yep. That's a little troublesome. Well, here's Tron. We'll grab a power plant, play it. I think we passed turn. He's going to get two cards here, which is not the best. We're trying to save the ley line, pretty much. Nope, another ransack the lab. That graveyard's gonna get pretty full here quick. And we'll go ahead and put a fake counter on Leyline. Play the expedition map. Go ahead and crack it, see what kind of land we can grab here. Mana, mana. Last zone seems good. And we'll go ahead and play this board state. We'll be ticking that blast zone up to two more than likely. It seems like a good number of their cards are based around that. Oh, there's a lightning skeletal. Well, yep, we're taking some damage from that. Yep, this will be a good bit of damage. No cards to discard. Up that to two. Yeah, we're getting a blocker at the very least. Probably should have waited on that. But oh well. I don't want them getting too many more cards. We'll mana ramp a little bit more. Hopefully we can find a threat. do four doors here I 
Another dark confidant. Would not mind a wrath of God here. Yeah, a little late, but we will definitely rest in peace. Insect lag, getting a Kroxa. Yep, that's going to be a little painful. Three damage. Yep. Oh, that's likely going to be game. Depends on what we draw off this. No, that doesn't trigger based on my own thing. Yeah, he's got it. Good games, Matt Fuller. And if you comment, if you uh, catch the video, I'm curious to see if you. Yeah. Yep, swinging for the damage. And we'll be on to our last Tron deck the Mono Blue Tron. This one's the one that's actually its own archetype, or, you know, you will see these occasionally. Beyond just in the free play here. <laughs> All right. Let's get this started. Got the die roll. Nice. Good way to start this off. Emrakul in hand is not the best. Um... Do turn three. Um, yeah, I think we'll keep this for a mono blue hand. I could be wrong on this. This is always the Tron build I have the most trouble running. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Um, no, we're actually. I, I'm gonna do another game. We, we want to actually get in the game against Hyper Viper. Yeah, it's a no search, but it's about the same. We got a little bit of ramp. Oh, but we're not on the play. Do I mulligan this? Um, yeah, I think I'm, I'll dig a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think I keep. Oh, Chromatic Ori feels a little far off here. We are not going to present as a Tron deck at all. Forest Utopia Sprawl. Interesting. Oh, look, we can present as a Tron deck. Nice. So that repeal seems like it's going to come in handy. Or not. Ooh, no second land.
Yeah. I think we will go ahead and repeal the Utopia Sprawl here. See if he takes another uh, turn to set up. Um, okay. I do want to get through one of these games. Oh, oh, cool. He just scooped the game. Okay. Oh, I thought he did the match. All right. What do we want? He's... I'll, I'll take in the dismembers. We'll go down one talisman and one chromatogory. Give this a try. So we are getting a full full game in, and just he scooped that round. He was on one land. That was very rough. Ooh, two islands. That's going to be... No, that's going to be Mulligan for me. I believe this one's a keep, though. We'll put the Emrakul on the bottom. The Emrakul is more in there in case we get the combo off. And with this hand, I think the move is going to be Power Plant Expedition Map. Just hoping we draw a Tron Land in the top two. He should know what we're on. He's looking very Jund esque. But it's with Stompy Ground, so there's an Armor Elf. So he's, he may be that combination of Jund and uh, Ponza. I've seen it run around a couple of times. Well, we do get the second Tron Land. That's always nice. So we're going to get Golos activations at the very least. If they don't Blood Moon. Three mana, possibly four. Looking like a Blood Moon or a Land Destruction, Pillage, yep. That is unfortunate. I'm not actually sure how Bluetron does against this build. Let's see what he's got. Is this going to be another pillage? It's going to be another pillage. We'll play Talaria West. Enters tapped, but hopefully we can do something with it. Oop, he gets another land, so that's four mana. That's not good. This is going to be Karn. Chandra, all right. Not the best, not the worst either. I think what I want to do is ping the Arbor Elf, take him down some mana, limit his options. We're two turns away from that Karn Great Creator, three turns away from Golos, but we do have the land to get there, provided there's no more pillages. As we're currently built, that doesn't matter too much. Yeah, we're going to have to watch that. No, I think we hold it up. 
Uh, hopefully he will attack with the Mages of the Moon. We can get the Snapcaster in next turn and deal some damage to that Chandra. Flash is a nice mechanic. I don't give it enough credit. Ooh, but that's a lot of mana. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep. This is payback for running uh, land destruction game one. I feel it. Well, we get to hit. We may hit the Chandra here. He may block. Depends on how much he wants. He's going to block. Yeah, he's going to ultimate it. Not good. We probably lost this game. We'll go to game three. Being on the play will help, though, because we can hopefully hold up some counter spells. I think that that's what this hand really needed was counter spells. Anything to stop the land destruction, and we would have been in a much better spot. probably dead yep Surprised he didn't just swing that at me. Well, uh, you know what? We may as well grab it. What? What's better, the Golos? No, we we we're gonna go ahead get the Congregate Creator out. Give them more targets. We'll choose something from outside the game. That we can actually cast. That's a rough thing. What do we really need here? I think Walking Bliss is going to be what we want. I'm pretty sure I'm dead, but he's got two cards in hand, so I want to stick it in just to find out. There's no real harm in it. He could have a handful of lands. Four, five, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, I'm gonna call that it. The glory bringer was definitely the thing over the top. You know what? I'm gonna pull out the dismembers and go for a surgical extraction and the spell pierces. One mana counter target uh, land destruction seems pretty good. Would I like to play first? Yes, I would like to play first. One mine, one gemstone cavern. I should have pulled gemstone cavern out. No real interaction. Mulligan. Alright, condescend's pretty good. I think I keep that. We'll put the cascading cataracts to the bottom. Go to mine. Expedition map. We only have one condescend, but scry two is also good. There's an arbor elf.
Luckily, this deck usually doesn't leave up mana. Except when they leave up mana. Oh, they didn't leave up mana. Oh, he misclicked. He misclicked. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. But it was just another Arbor Elf, and we will go ahead and. Condescend. I had my misclicks as well. Ooh. Yeah, I think that's the way we want to do it. Man seems pretty good here. Again, because they usually tap out for all their stuff. There's a land. Yep, that's a good bit of mana. Summer's good. Yep, I got Veil of Summer. Ew. That is unfortunate. It's in Staring Bridge time. That's going to put us in a decent spot. He's probably going to swing and kill the Karn. Or he's going to exert it. Swing at me, exert it, deal four damage to... No, it's only a creature, so he's probably just going to kill the Karn. Yeah, I am a blue deck. Well, hopefully we draw a land. And yeah, this is the first time I think I've been on the side of a choke. <laughs> Interesting experience. That does throw off my plan quite a bit. Well, let's grab a tower and start moving towards Tron. We have a lot of cards in hand. That means he's going to be able to swing with a bunch of stuff. Even if we do get the Instaring Bridge out. So. Yep.
He's got more cards. That's not good. All right, second glory bringer, eight, nine, ten. He's swinging eleven. Not the best, but we still have that chance to recover because we do get ensnaring bridge out. And the land, which can't be underestimated. I'm not likely to tap that land as of yet, but it is definitely there. So if he has artifact destruction to complete this, that would be the, yep, gonna swing for one. Although I think if he had artifact destruction, he would have already used it. Land destruction would be the worst right now. Not as bad once we get Chromatic Ori out. We do plan to dump our hand here though. Yep. So, ooh, tap, tap, crack, grab the power plant, play the power plant. We have Tron, we at least get Tron in this, we get the chromatic ori out. And we've got two counter spells in hand that we can't cast unless he casts a spell. So if he has a lightning bolt, well, we get to counter it. So there is is that at least. Yep. No blockers. No spells either, that's rough. Oh, he's got us. I don't control any permanents with colors. I can counter a spell that isn't gonna be there. So the only way he doesn't get there is if he tries to cast something on his upkeep. Yep. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, not the best one. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Happy 4th of July. Got some interesting builds here. I, I may take these out another time. This is Tectonic Edge signing out.